everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can make a 3D simulation or animation of an erupting volcano spilling lava all over the place. This animation or simulation will have sound effects and it uses a combination of Python and Blender to program. First, let me show you what the result will be like. Here are my files. The one I am going to run is this file as usual. Before we can see this animation beautifully, let me just press the space bar. This is what it looks like. Now, let me just go back to frame 1. And I will click on this. Now, let me press, press the space bar. We have our erupting volcano spilling lava all over the place. the view on top so I click on this one and I'll zoom in into the lava Anything else we like. Let me go to frame one. So I click on one of these and then I go to shader editor. Let's see. Then I zoom in to these nodes. Now here I can change the color. Let's have it a little more orange. Right here. Now I press the space bar. into this file here. Let's see what's in here. I use os.system to call this Blender link along with this Blender file that I baked previously. You see, when we have some animations, we might need to bake them. I pre-baked mine because it takes a long time. Now let's see what's in this one. This Python file is the one that generated this Blender file. As usual, or obviously, we import Blender Python in the beginning. Here I let the audio go in sync with the frames. Here I set our Python or Blender so that things can be shiny. Here I set the frames per second, the amount of frames, I go to frame 1, and I set the color of our world. This is a dark blue color. And here I set the mode to object. Here I, here I select all the might be hidden objects inside that Blender file and delete them all. Because we don't want anything else in there at first. 
Now I remove any sounds that might be in that file. Here I add a sequence editor to my Blender file. I define a fu function I call select, and it will basically let us select the vertices that we sometimes need to. Here I define a shade for the lava. You can see all these values. I I slowly adjusted the va values inside the Blender file until I get what I want, and then I copy the code. And here I have this shade for the volcano, and I did the same thing. This is the light, which is basically the sun. Blender file in def the Blender file in default comes with the sun, but if you can remember, I removed everything. So I want the sun back. Now here is where I start to create the base of our volcano, or should I say the mountain, where I first have a cone. The first radius is the radius for the bottom, and the second radius is for the radius on top. Here I toggle us to edit mode. I subdivide that cone, and then I do this again, which will bring us to object mode. Here I use the select function I defined to select the vertices of the bottom ring of our volcano. Then I go toggle mode and make it larger. This is the second last bottom ring vertices, and I also change its size. Now I select all and I make the vertices random and offset equals 0 0.1. If I change this 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, it will be much more crazy. Now I select the very top of our volcano's vertices, and then I extrude it downwards so it will form something like a cup. And I have merge type equals center, so all of them go to one point like a cone. Now, here's the floor for our volcano. And I also have my sound here. It is in volcano.mp3. The lava source I have is a sphere, but I make the sphere invisible. You see, if we want something, something like liquid or fire, we need an object for it to flow out of. So, I make mine flow out of a sphere. Here I set a camera in case we want to see a nice view, but we rotate it around and we can't get there. We can simply click the camera button. Here, I create the domain. The lava was created with particles. And if we want to have particles, we need a domain. My domain type is liquid since the lava is liquid. And you can see all these other values. Now let's, let me just run that program one more time. Or should I say just run this Blender file because they're the same thing. First, let's see what it looks like with nothing, I mean, no shades. It looks like a plaster volcano. Let me add the shade now. I select the lava. Click on either this or that. Go to Shader Editor. I view all. This is too small, so let me just make this larger.
This is the camera view I chose. tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subs subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is May 16th, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, have a look at my other videos. They might help you into programming or math. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.